All right, Jeff, let's move to the sportsbook side of things. What is your favorite player prop available for this one? Yeah, so going back basically all the way to the, the, the start of Jimmy G's, Jimmy Garoppolo's career, he's never gone more than two games without an interception. And he's, he's coming into this game, two games, he hasn't thrown an interception. Uh, you're just getting good odds here. You're getting plus 115 for Jimmy Garoppolo to throw an interception against a Tennessee defense who, again, they, they've really improved. Their pass rush has improved too. And when, when quarterbacks are under pressure, that ten, tends to be when they make mistakes. They've got 13 interceptions on the year. So basically averaging right around one per game. I think Garoppolo at plus money here to throw an INT in this game is a very, very good prop uh, to attack for tonight. All right, Pierce, which prop are you looking at? George Kittle over 68 and a half yards receiving. This just seems a little too low to me. I know it's not the greatest matchup in the world, but you know, what are you going to do? He's averaged 141 yards receiving over his last three games. This is about half of that. I think you can get there. If San Francisco is projected to score 24 points, that means they're going to move the ball. Who's going to move the ball? Well, it's more than likely going to be George Kittle. He's been 38% of their offense over the last three games. So if you do the math, let's say he's 30% of the offense and they get 226 total yards, which isn't a lot. That's over 69 yards. If they get 300 yards and he has 30%, which again is on the conservative end, that's 100 yards receiving. I think the 68 and a half is just way too low for George Kittle. Reed, what do we think? Yeah, I didn't know the Pythagorean theorem was going to come out for Pierce and do all the arithmetic on the Christmas Eve Eve, but here we are. I'm going Jimmy G over three and a half rush yards, minus 110. I think it's a good number too. Like he hasn't done this a lot. He's like one in five this year for doing it. But let's see, Mac Jones got 11 yards on Tennessee last time. And we saw Big Ben have a rushing touchdown, even though it was a sneak. So I think there is a viable option here. At minus 110, Jimmy G, all he has to do is scramble. And we know Tennessee can put pressure on the quarterback. Jimmy G doesn't do it a lot, but over three and a half rushing yards, I think he can get it done.